Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. So in this particular session, we are going to see how we can integrate Ansible with the Jenkins. But before that, let me recap um, uh, what we performed previously. And if you didn't uh, watch my previous video, because we already released uh, 10 videos of for the DevOps series, if you haven't looked yet, then please go ahead. And for better understanding, you have to watch uh, all the videos in a systematic order. So if I show you the, the design, so uh, whenever the users push a um, uh, code into the Git repository, the Jenkins will have a cron job. And what we see previously that there, there is a var file which um, uh, we have locally, um, uh, locally generated by the Jenkins. We first put it on the Tomcat server and then we browse that applications and we also also see it in an auto automated way like whenever the uh, due to the cron job settings in the jenkins job we whenever the user commit the code the code uh, push to the git repository and the jenkins job listens that particular changes and when the jenkins find that there is any update in the repository uh, for that particular job so jenkins will start building it and it generate the var file and that var file have the integrations the jenkins have the integration with the tomcat server so tomcat server um, uh, will get that particular var file in a particular locations and through the, the port 8018 that is used for the tomcat to browse the application so we able to see the changes there so this is the first part we performed already in which we installed the git and the map and, and build tools on the jenkins server and tomcat in the on the other another server on another, another issue to machines after that we uh, build uh, another systems on the issue to machines that is the docker host where we uh, put our artifacts because we, uh, jenkins also have the integration with the docker and docker host and whenever the user uh, commit any code in the git the jenkins will um, uh, will push that particular artifacts to the docker host first then after that we released an, an, another video on how to move that particular artifact to the uh, docker container and we, we use the docker images also so the, when we create a docker uh, docker file from docker file we create a docker image Images and that from the Docker images we create a Docker container. So this is the the path of the creating of our Docker container. So in that particular Docker file we use the Tomcat latest image and we pull uh, the artifacts uh, that is placed by the Jenkins on at the host level. We uh, we copy into the container level. So so this is the um, the activity that I performed by the Docker file. And um, now we find some different difficulties in the Jenkins in, in the Jenkins that then Jenkins is good for the CI not for the CD part because whenever there is a further changes in the git so we use the execute command to create a same container name in that case the jenkins will throw an error because with the same container name the it will not a uh, uh, docker will not allow to create a same container name all the time so in that case we have to write a code uh, that will delete the container first but there is a scenario that when we have a fresh setup at that time we don't have the container so in that case if we are deleting or we putting some checks like if the container exists then please delete it before creating the container then in these types of things becomes very lengthy when we try to handle it with the Jenkins because Jenkins is good for the CI and we you also seen in the previous video that we integrate the docker host with the jenkins in that case we, if we have several docker host or we have to push the artifact to the several docker host in that case we have to integrate all the servers the docker host servers with the jenkins so this is a very tedious job to integrate all the servers manually with the jenkins so we bring ansible into the picture because ansible play a very good low role at the cd part the uh, the continuous uh, delivery or deployment whatever you say uh, <clears throat> 
so in that case in uh, jenkins is very good at the C cd part because we can write a ansible playbook and we will um, push the, it uh, the image to the docker hub uh, when we create a, a docker Im images and the, the the docker host will uh, pick that particular images uh, from the docker hub itself so we don't have to keep it locally and um, the ansible, in that case um, we can also further enhance the ansible to use the Kubernetes set so that we can use the deployment YAML file for the for the creating the pod at the Kubernetes cluster. So this is the um, we are going to perform when we finish our um, all the series of for the Ansible. So in the previous video, what we did, we have our integrations of Ansible with the Docker um, Docker. So we for, we performed it and we already tested it. So if we look into this particular things. Uh, let me uh, go step by step. So we have two, um, uh, three um, uh, in instance of the uh, Linux machine, and we have a Jenkins server and uh, Docker host Ansible. So we created um, or set up uh, the Ansible set uh, Ansible machine, and we integrated with the Docker host. So there is a pipeline established between the Ansible and the Docker. So, and we also uh, set up the Docker uh, in, in the Ansible server because Ansible have to play a role to create an image, a Docker image. So we have to do a setup of the Docker and on the Ansible server also. So we created the this particular connections and we already tested it that now it's in the Ansible machines um, uh, with the user called uh, NS admin. It's able to um, uh, NS admin it's able to, inter, um, to talk with the uh, local host also because we also provided the key uh, and with the with the docker um, host also so this is the private key which we um, already added in the host file and we uh, did a ping and Sybil all and uh, um, module for the ping so we we already established a connection between the uh, Ansible machine with the Docker. Now, this particular in this particular video, we are going to integrate Ansible with the Jenkins, uh, so that whenever there is a build at the Jenkins end, whenever uh, Jenkins we run a Jenkins job, so Jenkins uh, it will be able to copy the Ansible it, it the artifact to the Ansible system, and Ansible system will convert that to the var file to the docker images uh, so uh, with um, docker images and um, able to um, uh, cre create a docker container on the docker host which is our target uh, system so uh, the, we will write some playbook so um, regarding the ansible playbook we will um, look it into the next video how to create an ansible playbook to write the images and then um, we will um, how to um, uh, start building the images and the, from the images we create a docker container to the target host so um, we will look at that that aspect of the creating of for the ansible playbook we will look into the next um, video this particular session is mainly concentrate on the bringing the artifact the job when the jenkins job will run it will move that artifacts to the uh, Ansible server. So this is the main agenda of today's sessions and we are going to look into it how we can do it. So we have all the setups uh, Ansible related things is already performed. We have the Jenkins setup also. So uh, we are going to use our Jenkins console uh, to do some configurations and add it in the similar way that we already performed integrating Docker with the Jenkins. In the similar way, we are also going to integrate Ansible with the Jenkins. So we will uh, try to build a new job and we will run also that job and try to perform, uh, try to see that um, the, either the artifacts are moving to the Ansible uh, machines or not. So this is the, our, our main agenda for today. So I am going to uh, uh, look into the uh, uh, Jenkins uh, console. So we are currently in the Jenkins console. Here we have to go to the manage Jenkins. So after manage Jenkins, we are going to configure the system. 
okay so uh, we have to go to the uh, publish over ssh so that uh, that jenkins will able to copy the var file to the ansible server so this particular uh, connectivity is required between the jenkins uh, with the ansible uh, server through so we have to provide all the, the things related with the ssh server so let's go to the end of this particular interface so publish over ssh so um, we have to add a new one like we have for the docker host we are going to add a new one here and in the name we can provide the ansible server ansible server okay for the host name we have to provide the ip the private ip because we have the, all the instance in the same vpc default vpc we are using so we can use the private ip you can take it from the here also and uh, uh, better if you if you take uh, using try to find it uh, using the command so we have to provide here the private ip for ansible so ip ddr and from here you can pick the the ip this is the private ip copy this and here you can provide the uh, ip address okay this is the host name and the for uh, username you can provide ans admin that we created previously okay so in the just click on the advance and use the password authentication mode okay and here you have to provide the password whatever you set okay so that's it now you have to test the connection so you can find that um, you, you have the success message. If you have don't have the success message, then you have to check. You have to see all the videos, the steps, what we perf performed previously. So it might be there is some, some steps you missed. So just, uh, just apply it and save it. Okay, this is perfect. Now you create a new item, the new job. Uh, you can name it as a deploy ah uh, yes this one deploy on container uh, using as ansible let me type it deploy on Okay, now we have to use the copy and from copy we can uh, use the docker uh, on container. Deploy on Ansible container. Okay. So all things looks good. We don't have to do any changes. Okay, the post built actions. Here, instead of uh, using the Docker, we have to use the Ansible because we already have the configuration here for the Ansible. And the source file, it's good. Uh, remote prefix we don't have to do any changes for the remote directory uh, yes we can we can do it uh, here like uh, we will uh, remove this and this time instead of the home directory that is we used uh, as dot for the home directory uh, of the user I, i'm going to create a, a separate directory and same we will uh, we are going to use uh, as a workspace so uh, now going to the ansible for that okay this is our ansible we are currently uh, as a root user we have to switch to as a ans admin okay cd opt 
sudo mkdir docker so creating a directory called uh, docker okay now we have to give full access to the ans admin to directory uh, docker sudo ch change the ownership ch on recursively ans admin colon ans to the path of this is the path of the docker directory that we created okay that's it ls minus l okay so you can see that we have a docker directory uh, is it's present and it's owned by the ans admin and now so uh, when the jenkins copy some file it will not give any issues okay so this is fine plus minus l we have the same thing okay what is the current location we are inside the opt so this directory we are uh, using to store the artifacts. So uh, this, this is the path. Uh, we have to go inside the docker cd. Okay. Okay. So this is the, this is the path. So we have to copy this path. Copy it and we are going to use it here. But uh, we have to use the double slash here. Uh, okay. Fine. So for the execute command, we don't have to use anything here. that we will see in the next uh, video how we can just uh, this is the to just um, uh, move the artifacts to the ansible system just apply the changes and save it okay so now uh, we have to we have to monitor this particular path uh, that we just created so currently we have anything no we don't have anything Okay, so now we are going to move, uh, build that particular uh, job. So if all uh, goes well, then uh, we can see the artifacts moving from uh, Jenkins to the Ansible, the, the target host. We can see all the things in the console. Okay, the field, it's transferred one file and um, connected to the Ansible server. And we can see that uh, it's uh, uh, able to transfer one file after the connections and uh, before the, after the transfer, it's uh, disconnected. Okay. So now we can, we can see that the there is an artifact at the uh, locations. So the artifact say the web app dot war file is present, which is moved from the Jenkins to the ansible uh, particular locations that whichever we set so this complete this particular session in next next session we will uh, try to write some uh, ansible playbook uh, through which we will create a, a docker file then from docker file we will create a docker images and we will uh, from ansible we will push it to the docker hub and that particular um, image we will uh, use uh, for creating the docker container on the docker host which is the target machine so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends as well uh, keep learning and be safe